Nvidia GPUs are like gold dust these days. If you find a well-priced GPU and you really looking to buy it, then I would suggest go for it and buy it. Don't wait. Don't be like that person who keeps waiting for the prices to drop just in the hope that because new GPUs are coming, so the older one will be cheaper. That is not going to happen anytime soon in my humble opinion. Welcome back to your channel. In this video, we are going to talk about one of the very popular GPU card P40 among the AI and machine learning enthusiasts. And I have received a lot of questions around P40 as what is a good price to buy it and whether people should buy it or not. Well, look, one thing I want to be upfront, I don't know your situation. I don't know what your requirement. I don't know your budget. So I cannot really suggest to recommend you any gpu card and i'm not from nvidia so i don't want to be their salesperson but one thing i know for sure is that if there are good quality gpus out there these days they are definitely from nvidia especially the used and second hand ones because most of the people are looking to buy a second hand gpu because the first hand gpus the modern ones are quite expensive so people are normally looking in the sweet spot of GPU with 24 GB of VRAM or somewhere around that for their local rig so that they could play around with one of few of the quantized models or even full models of smaller sizes. Now, one of the more one of the popular card I would say is P40. It is a GPU card designed by NVIDIA, and we all know who NVIDIA is. NVIDIA is one of the most popular leading and valuable company these days in AI and graphics processing. The P40 is a part of NVIDIA's Ampere architecture family, which includes other powerful cards like A100, A40, and A30. The P40 is specifically built for data center workloads, including AI, deep learning, and high-performance computing. And I have seen that many people use it to run larger quads of bigger models and 7 billion models. The P40 card offers several impressive capabilities as you can see on your screen. It has around 3800, more than 3800 cores. Um, it has around 24 GPU of VRAM and there are a lot of good specs there. It uh, uses, uh, its power usage is also quite good around uh, 250 watts, which is quite good given its size and its grunt. And we know that its memory is 24 GB VRAM. It also offers you up to two times double precision fault floating point performance compared to the previous generation. And it has a support for PCIe 4. Now, in the context of AI models, because that is what we are looking for this to do, the P40 card is used to accelerate tasks like inference, training, and deployment, but don't expect it to do full-blown training on your huge data set. Maybe a smaller data set fine-tuning would do, and inference is also for the small to medium models. And yes, it would be able to run the quants of Q5, Q6, and even Q8 of the larger models. Many AI applications require massive computational power and memory, and that is a hard truth. So P40, can be good, but if you are running to do massive, massive training, fine tuning and larger models, this won't work. Also, don't expect it to do video generation or massive image generation for you. It won't do animation either. Also, all of these models like Llama, Jamma, these will run on P40 in a quantized version, especially the 70 billion one. Now, there are a lot of other families if you're interested like T4, which Google provides for free. Anyway, recently one interesting thing happened uh, and that was a very, very huge jump in P40 GPU card all over the globe. I'm in Australia and it jumped from um, like $150 to $350, $400 just in the last couple of weeks. And Many buyers are disappointed and this phenomena is not really confined to Australia. I have seen same thing happen in Europe and US where prices have more than doubled. I think the reason being that P40 is a good equilibrium between decent performance and price and then 24 GB VRAM is also quite good, not that bad. And it 
provides you an easy way to do inference locally with your own model especially i have seen people running a lot of role play models on p40 there are various other cards cards too by the way so don't really get disappointed if p40 has gone out of your budget budget such as there is uh, 3080 2080 um, which is around like 300 200 dollars which you can check out even 3060 is cheaper so p40 is a budget friendly option i know but i think if you look for something like 3060 that is not bad either if you could get it in the same price so look i cannot recommend you any specific card but if you're looking to buy p40 i think right now it is a bit expensive in my opinion uh, 400 dollars 350 dollars for p40 is expensive but anyway i'm keen to know your thoughts maybe i'm totally wrong and if you believe that even 400 dollars 450 dollars for a second hand used card or a very lightly used card is expensive let me know and i won't buy it i'll take your advice for it but in the same breath if you want to recommend on the basis of your personal uh, personal experience practical experience if you would like to recommend a commodity budget friendly gpu card in this price range around 200 to 500 dollar um, let us know in the comments it will help many people and also let us know your use case which models you are running and all that stuff hope this helps let's start the discussion if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching